All right, you ready for some analysis? Let's learn about some of the simple analysis that we can do with ArcMap. So here's my dilemma. There's been a couple of cases where interstates have dissolved inside or collapsed inside of massive sinkholes. So we want to know where else in the country this might occur. So we're going to have the transportation department go out and look for any places that we've got interstate interstates over known karst um, location. So I've got from my National Atlas uh, data sources some roads, karst, and my, my state boundaries here. And we're going to learn more about using the selection tools. How do we can select by attributes and how we can select by location. So I want to find all the interstates. I got all these roads. This is a, um, both interstate and state highways. So let's of that mess, all these gray lines, let's pick out just the interstates. So I'm going to go up to selection, so it's going to create a selected set, and I want to select from that single data set a subset of it. So I'm going to go to select by attributes. There's also an Arc Toolbox tool to do this. And bring up my dialog. Now the, the top layer is telling me which one it's going to operate on. So I want to make sure that I got roads selected here. Uh, and the method, I could create a new set, I could add to a current, current set. Um, for the most part, we're almost always creating a new selection. And then what I want to do is create an SQL statement down here. So I'm kind of reading this as a sentence, select star or select anything from the data set roads where, and then I'm going to create a condition down here. So I want to create a condition for the interstates. So I need to look through the attributes that I've got. Um, and I may have to click on a couple of these to kind of figure out what they are. Click on feature, and then if I click on unique values, I can see all the unique values here. Okay, so there's something here that's showing me what types they are, limited access, other highways, principal highways, um, and I think it's the limited access highways that I want. I may not capture everything that I want, but we'll go with that for now. All right, so I want to say down here, that I want features, so I'm going to double click on that, start building my selection statement. I'm going to say equals, and I want those equal to limited access highways. So my, my full SQL statement down here, I'm going to get all the features, <clears throat> where they, all features where the attribute feature is equal to limited access highway. Click verify, make sure I don't have any syntax errors here. Looks like it's good. So I'm going to say OK, and I'll apply that selection. Ah, I get our interstate highway system. So everything in that that uh, kind of obnoxious blue is my selected roads. All right, so I got a selected set. Now let's use select by location, which is combining two different layers. And I want to find the ones that are in karst. All right, selection me method. Select features. Um, select from the currently selected features, so I'm going to get the features that are already selected, not all roads, from roads, um, that my source layer and the target layer, target layer features intersect the source layer features. And I got a whole bunch of different options here within a certain distance, contain, uh, we may have to um, look in the help file to figure out which one of these we want. Completely contain, completely within, uh, and let's try this first one. Target layer, so that's my my roads, intersect the source layer, so that's karst. Uh, and I could apply a buffer here, but I'm not. I'm just going to be the roads that land within karst area. All right, so let's hit apply. It's going to crank on this. And close that. Oops, run it again. All right, so now I get those roads and some of the segments go outside that are uh, over the top of karst. So let's kind of zoom in. Let's look here in Missouri. All right, so I get these sections of interstate um, that are within karst. Great. So we use both the selection and the select by location tools to get a subset of data that's of interest. All right, let's go check for sinkholes.